Welcome back to my snow fights from early 2021. As the last week of winter decided to give us a bit more snow, I wanted to share with you the last few videos from my sparrings in the snow with Boguslav. Here I am with Sword and Buckler and he is with a longsword. As I've already discussed several times, the difference that the snow makes, I won't focus too much on this and we'll just explore the tactical and technical side, like here, where I displaced his thrust and moved backwards while cutting to his arm. My shield protected me from his Zverhal. I've also added the score that we would give these exchanges, although we usually don't track them. Here Bobo performs a great Durchwechsel. He presents the tip of his blade as a provocation, moves it quickly out of the way, goes for a thrust, and stops my strike on his guard. From this next exchange forward, you will see the main way that I'm trying to play in this matchup. I'm provoking to make a strike or a bind, then taking Bobo's cut to my sword and buckler simultaneously and trying to go for a lower strike with my sword, while defending with the buckler. In this case, I immediately move backward while keeping my buckler between me and Bobo. I've kept the exchanges in their original order so you can see how each of us adjusts to the other's way of play. Here for example, Bobo goes with a Shaitauhau, so he can go above my shield. In the next one you can see again my provocation, a bind and then going below. The interesting this time is that I actually stay my ground and keep my buckler to his arms to keep him away. However, this is a very limited and easily to spot maneuver, so you can see that Bobo is adjusting the way he's playing. Here he actually closed in a little bit further and tried to do a sphere to my buckler. However, I was low enough, so he missed the strike. You can also see that after my cut I tried to do a slice and go for a thrust. Bobo will now try a different tactic. Instead of going in after his first strike, he moves backwards and defends from my cut from below. Bobo's follow-up attack is again a bit shorter than the one he previously did and he manages to strike me, but I also do a strike so it's a double. If you're thinking that Bobo has a big length advantage, you should know that the difference in the size of the blades is only 12 cm. Still, in a well-executed thrust, with well-extended hands, he does have the reach advantage. As you can see here, he manages to make a thrust, bend his sword into my mask and I still can't reach him. He released his sword here, so the full force of his thrust doesn't actually hit me on the head and push me backwards. Bobo's next attack is a shoe how. He passes between my sword and buckler and goes for a thrust. It reaches me, but while I'm going out, I do a cut to his body. This is a classic blow after blow. It's his initiative, but he doesn't protect himself well afterwards. Before our final exchange, Bobo goes to our two variations of left foam tap. He then advances with several master strikes while passing to the right. However, his final strike hits my buckler and I managed to make a cut to his arms. I hope you enjoyed this video, I will post the next one where he is with sword and buckler and I am with longsword next week. If you would like to see them, make sure to subscribe and do give me a like.